In this example, we're going to compute the mean, median, and mode for a couple of given data sets. The definitions for mean, median, and mode are included here for your reference. I'm going to recommend for each of these problems that you start by writing the sets in increasing order. And notice that the first one is written with commas between the data points, the second one is written without. Either one is fine, it is nice to be consistent. So let's start by writing our data set in order. So I'm going to write 1, 1, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5. That would be my first data set, and there are seven values in the data set. To find the mean, I'm going to want to add together all of those items and then divide by the number of items in the data set. So I'm going to write my sum here and then divide that by the number of items in the set, which is 7. If I add these numbers together, I get 24 divided by 7. If I make that computation, 24 divided by 7, and round to the tenths place, that gives me a mean of 3.4. The second measure I'm going to look at is the median, and that is the number that is exactly in the middle of the data set. Because I have seven values, I'm going to have three on one side of the middle and three on the other side of the middle. Therefore, my median is four. Now, you can only do this if you've written the items in increasing order. The mode is the item that occurs most often. In this case, five occurs three times, one occurs two times, so five is my mode. So each of these is an average or a measure of central tendency for this given set of data. Let's look at our next data set. Write the values in increasing order, so that's 0, 2, 2, 2, 3, 6, 6, 6, and there are 8 data values in this set. To find the mean, once again, I'm going to sum the values, and I'm not going to write the whole thing this time, but there is a sum of 27, if I add all of these numbers, divided by the number of values in the data set, which is 8. If I make that division and then round to the nearest tenth, I also get 3.4. So notice that the mean is the same for these two data sets, yet the data sets are completely different. To find the median, that's the number that's exactly in the middle. And in this case, I have four and four data values. I don't have an exact middle that's a member of the data set. So what I'm going to do is find the mean of the terms that are exactly in the middle, 2 plus 3 over 5. That gives me 5, excuse me, that should be 2 plus 3 over 2. So 5 over 2 gives me 2.5 as my median. And then finally, my mode is the number that occurs most often. Well, 2 occurs 3 times, 6 occurs 3 times, so I have what's called a bimodal data set. I have a 2 and a 6 that are the mode.